So if you want to easily download all of the photos you have on Google Photos to a hard drive like this one right here, what you're going to need to do is go to your Google account by clicking on your profile picture and then click on manage Google account. Here, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the left side and click on data and privacy. You're then gonna to wanna to scroll down on this page until you find download your data right here. And you wanna click on that. It will now take you to this page where you wanna click deselect all and then scroll down and find Google Photos. As you can see, here's Google Photos. So now we're gonna go and select that. As you can see, all photo albums included. And then you want to just scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the next step button. So around this step, you may be asked to allow Google Takeout to have access to your account and this will just make it so that they can take the photos you have saved and actually send them to you. So if you see this, just allow it, sign into your Google account and accept it. As you see, it will give you some options here. Probably the best one to do is just send the link via email. Um, and then I would suggest just doing it once if you wanna set it up for reoccurring, um, you know, that's up to you. For the settings down here, I would probably just leave it as is and click Create Export. So as you can see, Google is now creating a copy of my photos and when it's done, I'll receive an email with a link to download that information. As you can see, this will take hours or days to complete and it's really up to how much stuff you have um, in your Google Photos. So as you can see right here, I received a message at 2.05 letting me know that my information is now ready to be downloaded. This means it took them exactly two hours to process all of this and send me the email. If you scroll down in this email, you can see all the download files. Mine happened to split into 128 different files. So what we're gonna wanna do here is click on the first one and then it will probably ask you to sign in. So just quickly enter your password and click next. Once you've done that, it will then take you to a page that's very similar to the email you received, except here you can actually download the files. So because I clicked the download button on the first part in the email, it automatically started to download this part. So at this stage, I would probably suggest downloading five or 10 of these at the same time because it can take quite a while for them to download. So while you are waiting for that to download, I would suggest going to your hard drive or the place you wanna store it on your computer, opening it up and then just right clicking on it and then create a new folder. And then you can call this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it Google Photos, just like that. So then you'll have a place to move these files to. Once this is finished downloading, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to the download folder on your computer or wherever you have it set to be downloaded to. If you open the file from Chrome, this will take you into the folder when we really need to be able to see the folder. So you need to go to that place where you have it set for your downloads to go. So as you can see, the file is a zipped file. This means we have to extract this. To do this, you want to right click on this and then go to extract all. Here it's gonna ask you for a destination and here we're gonna to choose to go and find it. And as you can see on our hard drive, we have that one called Google Photos we made earlier. We're gonna select that folder and now it's going to extract it to that place on your hard drive. Then you push extract. Then you just gotta wait for it to do this. This may take a little bit, so be patient. So once that is done, it will open up to it. And now if we go in here, you can see that it has sorted it by folders and by the year. 
So if you're okay having it sorted like this, you can just go ahead and go back and download the rest of these as well, and then do this exact same process. When you extract another segment, it will take this and combine it with the one you have already done so that it will put it into the designated folder. So if you have some from 2017, it will combine them with the other ones from 2017. If you don't want it sorted like this, what you can do is go back to this file right here, take out, and then go up to the search bar and just push period. So this will separate all of the photos and videos from the folders. And then what you can do is find the first one like this one right here, click on it, then push and hold down the shift button and then go over to the bar and scroll all the way down to the bottom here and then while still continuing to hold the shift click on the last one and that will select all of the files in between that first one and the last one then what you can do is find it right here google photos just take this and drag that over there like this. And this will remove all of those photos from that and it will just be in one general folder. As you can see right here, they're now all in the Google Photos folder. And if you did do it this way, the last thing you can do is just go ahead and delete this right like that. So the last thing you should know is there's gonna be a bunch of files mixed into this that look like this. And when you try to open one, it won't actually take you two photos because it's not actually a photo. These are all the thumbnails for your photos and you don't really need these now that it's out of Google Photos. So to delete this, you just want to go and click on your Google Photos folder and then go up to the search bar and look up JSON and then search for that. And then as you can see right here, it has pulled up all of these files. And then what we can do, click on the first one, hold down the shift button, scroll all the way down to the bottom here, select the last one, and then push the delete button. And that will just delete all of those thumbnails that you don't need anymore, which will make it easier for you to find your photos and not have a big mess of useless files mixed in there. So one more thing I just wanted to quickly mention is if you have something called failed videos at the top, these are videos that actually failed to download. So if we click on one here, as you can see, it's not working. So what we're going to have to do for this is we're going to have to go through and search for each of these files in Google Photos and try downloading it the original way. To do this, you're going to want to click on this twice, Command C that, and then go over to Google Chrome, go to your apps over here, down to Photos, then just go to your search bar and Command V, put that in there, enter it, and it will search for it. So that for some reason brought up several files. I'm assuming it's one of these two since it's a video. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on this so now that we found the video, what we're gonna to wanna to do is go up to the three dots here and then go to download. So as you can see, it's now finished downloading. And if we open that up, you can now see we have that video successfully saved on our computer. The last thing you're gonna probably wanna do is take the file in downloads and drag that over to your Google Photos folder. And that is how you safely move all of your Google Photos and videos to a hard drive.